left off uh, yesterday. I had a, was questioning the minister about uh, statements that were made when the bill uh, in a previous version had been introduced in 2012 and whether there were, uh, for the want of a better word, uh, protections built in for uh, unnecessary requirements for duplicate uh, demonstration of uh, approval. And uh, subsequent to uh, adjournment, I had a brief conversation with the minister and her staff. Apparently, this has been addressed in policy. A commitment was made to provide that policy to me and on the assumption that um, that will arrive and the policy uh, meets the needs of small and independent uh, film uh, houses. I think uh, that's great news and will satisfy the people who have questioned me about this to ensure that in fact uh, the onerous requirement to demonstrate a second time on a film that is being redistributed but which has undergone no change uh, at a cost has now been eliminated. And I have, uh, well, I have one other question on, um, on section three and I am just wondering if in sub three the Attorney General can just uh, explain what the practical difference in the change of wording will be. Minister of Justice. Thank you, Chair. Chair, the uh, subsection three, which I think the member was the, the section the member was asking about. This is a reflection of current practice. The approval. It used to be technically in, in the former sub three, every movie had every motion picture had to be approved. Now the approval only relates to the adult motion pictures. Every other motion picture is reviewed under section five. Member. Thank you, Chair. That concludes my questions on Section 3. Sorry, Member. Repeat it again. It's on oh. Section 3. Shall Section 3 pass? Aye. So ordered. Shall Section f Member. Thank you, Chair. Uh, if I understood the Attorney General's response to some of my questions yesterday, uh, I think uh, she answered this question, but I just want to <clears throat> reiterate and clarify because the uh, section 4 adds a new section 2.1 which is review of restricted motion pictures for distribution and of course restricted motion pictures uh, is a new category or definition within uh, this bill and uh, will be within the act should the bill pass uh, and I believe my memory is that the Attorney General said uh, my question was going to be why was there no requirement previously? And I believe the Attorney General's answer was that previously 
what would now be considered a restricted motion picture was considered an adult motion picture and uh, now that the definitions have changed, this uh, distinction is being made. I just want to confirm that. Mr. Thank you, Chair. Chair, the designation adult motion picture used to include restricted. In other words, there was a big category of adult and restricted was in, within that. It has actually been pulled out of that now and is placed in the lineup of all of the other categories, the, the general PG, 14A, 18A, and restricted. So it's in that list now as opposed to where it used to be, which was within the adult motion pictures. Member. And so to just further clarify uh, my understanding, restricted motion pictures are reviewed on a sa essentially the same basis as general motion pictures and no separate licensing is required. Mr. Chair, that's correct. There's, there's no extra license needed for the restricted film. There is, a, of course, one uh, significant difference, which is that you, you may not go into a restricted film if you're under 18. And just by way of background, that change has been in place <laughs> since 1997. I'm guessing that when the member and I were both young, we, we probably could go into a restricted movie. That has changed now. Uh, a, a, a young person may not go into a restricted movie. Member for Vancouver Fairview. Thank you very much, uh, Chair. Uh, this section also removes Section 3 or Section 5.3 3 uh, that required the director to uh, remove or require the removal of uh, scenes or portions of, of a film that, um, that did not uh, meet uh, the criteria. That's now been replaced, as I understand it, by, and the Minister has confirmed by approval or rejection of the film as a whole. The Attorney General, however, made reference that uh, the director may make um, the distributor aware of certain scenes that are problematic, which would leave it up to the discretion of uh, the distributor whether to remove the scenes in order to uh, allow the film to uh, have more certainty with respect to approval. So there has been commentary, there was commentary in 2012 that uh, one of the laudable aspects of um, the precursor of this bill was the removal of censorship by government. But uh, it appears that what is left is approval or rejection or discussion with distributors about removing uh, scenes. So it's, it's possible to think that the government simply doesn't want to be seen to be censoring and would rather allow the distributor to self-censor, but the, I don't want to jump to conclusions. I just would like the Attorney General to um, explain the policy rationale for this change.
Minister. Thank you, Chair. As I, I mentioned earlier, there was a case out of Ontario that made this provision, as it currently stands, um, uh, wrong, unconstitutional, I believe. Government will not be ordering or removing or requiring the removal of pieces of a, of a motion picture. The film classification uh, director may approve or not approve an adult motion picture and, and, gen and we'll have an, a discussion with the distributor and if the distributor wishes to make changes, of course, that's entirely up to the distributor. But um, we, in, in government, through government, will not be requiring people to change their films. Member. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Section 5.1 says that if an adult motion picture does not contain a depiction of any of the following scenes which have been exhaustively discussed by my colleague from Nanaimo, um, that it must be approved. Uh, 5.2 says that if an adult motion picture contains a depiction of any of the scenes referred to in subsection 5.1, the director may approve or may or refuse to approve the adult motion picture. I'm, I'm wondering if uh, the Attorney General has any criteria or guidelines in mind or is uh, planning to leave this to the director or if this is going to be uh, kind of a fluid uh, consideration based on community values at any point in time. Mr. The, there are detailed criteria which are on the website of Consumer Protection BC. They are, uh, those criteria are built in consultation with the industry. It's a very transparent process and if the person wishing to distribute the film uh, doesn't like it, as I said a moment ago, they can ask for reconsideration. Shall section six pass? Aye. So ordered. Shall section seven pass? So ordered. Shall section eight pass? Member. Section eight. Section Thank eight. you, uh, Chair. Um, I'm just wondering if uh, the Attorney General could just clarify, uh, shed a little light on uh, how the application of the Business Practices and Consumer Protection Act in uh, the instance of the Motion Picture Act will actually uh, work? How will it be different from anything current if it will be different? Minister. 
Chair, this uh, aligns the act with the current practice and uh, as the member observes, brings into the act provisions from the Business Practices and Consumer Protection Act um, around licensing. Shall section eight pass? So ordered. Shall section nine pass? So ordered. Shall section 10 pass? So ordered. Shall section 11 pass? So ordered. Shall section 12 pass? So ordered. Shall section 13 pass? Member on section 13. Thank you, Chair. Section 12.2 uh, authorizes the director to publish information respecting compliance measures under the Act. And says that the, and that is welcome in, in the sense of consumer protection. Uh, people will uh, have a chance to see uh, information respecting suspensions or cancellations, any undertakings of uh, distributors uh, or people uh, showing motion pictures, compliance orders, imposition of administrative penalties, court orders under the Act, convictions for offenses. Uh, that's important consumer protection uh, and transparency legislation, but uh, 1222 says the director may publish information. It doesn't say the director must publish information or shall publish information. So uh, could the minister explain why this discretion has been granted? On the one hand, it appears that uh, the bill contains a significant move toward consumer protection or transparency, uh, and yet it leaves total discretion about whether to exercise that rather than perhaps uh, delineate very clearly some particular reasons why discretion might be used and other, other reasons where it should not be used. Mr. Chair, I think the, the question is around 12 point, proposed 12.22, whether or not the word may should be a must. The practice is that everything does get published when it has come to its conclusion. Uh, but sometimes there are processes that are underway, there are interim orders made and so on. Those are not published until, as I said, the, whatever the particular situation is, is worked out and finalized. Member? I understand the rationale. I'm just wondering, is this a matter of policy regulation as opposed to putting in the bill that uh, the director must publish uh, upon conclusion of any outstanding uh, matters?
Mr. Bridge and 12.22 is consistent with that of the Business Practices and Consumer Protection Act, but written in so it suits the Motion Picture Act. Mr. Noting the hour. Thank you, Chair. Chair Noting the hour would ask. Okay, let's take three more minutes, Chair. <laughs> Shall section. Shall section 13 pass? So ordered. Shall section 14 pass? So ordered. Shall section 15. Any other question, member? Any other? 17, sure. Okay, sorry. So shall section 13 to 16 inclusive pass? So ordered. On section 17, member. Thank you, Chair. Uh, in 21C, sorry get this page to move. Uh, it provides that um, the Lieutenant Governor and Council may prescribe a classification scheme that is considered necessary for motion pictures that are exhibited in theaters. Is, is there any uh, plan to change the classification scheme currently? Minister. No plans to change the current scheme, Chair. Shall section 17 pass? So ordered. Shall section from 18 to 23 inclusive pass? So ordered. Shall the title pass? So ordered. Minister. The rise and report the bill complete without amendment. Members, you heard the motion. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried.